everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jane, my husband Mike is behind the camera with British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in Northwest France. And every Friday we open our kitchen and we cook something for you or we share some money saving food with you. Let's take a look at how we save money on food this week. This week is all about homemade bread. I was recently given a bread machine, thank you so much to Robbie and Gordon for and bringing it to us as well, that was so kind of you. And we've started making our own homemade bread. The bread that Mike eats has gone up in price from 109 for a loaf of sliced bread, and that's quite a small loaf of bread too. And it's gone up to over 150 for the same loaf. And I was paying about three euros fifty for a loaf of gluten-free bread. And I'll tell you something, it was more air than bread. The slices were tiny. If you put butter on it, it disintegrated. It wasn't great. So we looked into alternatives and I have costed this and this saves me more than half. More than half of what it would cost me to buy bread. It's less than half that price for me to make it. So I'm going to share with you the flour that I use here. Type 55 flour is the regular flour for making regular bread. So this is a kilo bag and this here in France costs about 79 cents. Anywhere between 70 cents and 85 cents for a one kilo bag of flour, which I believe in old money is about, is about three pounds of flour. Then I've experimented with cheap gluten-free flour. It was rubbish. I've gone back to this branded flour and you can see six euros 39 and this makes me two and a half loaves of bread so obviously i open this packet and i add the flour to the flour so you can see it saves me massively and you will see when i show you my gluten-free bread as well it's proper bread it's proper bread and anyone who eats gluten-free bread think it's, oh, it's oh my God. and this isn't this is proper bread so enjoy the video see you at the end Let's start off with my bread machine because someone's bound to say, what bread machine have you got, Jane? It is a Kenwood Rapid Bake and a couple of friends of ours, who we made friends because of this channel actually, uh, gave us this bread machine. And let's go up here and show you the settings that we use. I use the large setting, number three, for Mike's regular bread. It takes a couple of hours to make that. And uh, when I make the gluten-free bread, because it doesn't need kneading and knocking back and rising and all that stuff, I just use the rapid bake. So first of all, I will make Mike's bread, because that takes the longest, and I'll make my bread after that. Right, let's get my ingredients into my bread pan. The very simple ingredients, I will just write them in the comment box below. So I start off, I add in my water and I add my oil. In here is flour, regular flour. It's a different type of flour. It says type 55 here in France. What, I don't know what it means, but we use type 55 flour. There's, um, you can see here, some milk powder and some salt, and that's going to go in, hopefully without me putting it everywhere. Then our dried yeast comes in little sachets like this. This is just one teaspoonful in here, and it needed two. So there's two sachets of dried yeast. That goes in on top, and I'll just Show it you and I'll pop it into the machine. So I've put the bread pan in there. I'll just close it, press, turn it on. Press select and then press three. And that's it. And start. And whilst that's making a noise, that has three hours, 10 minutes to cook, 
I can just leave it and forget it. I'll show you the bread at the end. And here's the first loaf of bread, all done, all made. It's quite late in the evening now, so I won't make my bread now, but I will make mine in the morning because it only takes an hour to make. So there it is, it's a nice square looking loaf. I'll take it out and I'll show it to you when it's cooled down. Well, that is a proper loaf of bread. Pop a crust on it too. Can't beat a loaf of bread. Lovely crust. Oh, that's great. I'm sure he'll be happy with that. A loaf of bread lasts Mike half the week. He has toast for breakfast, maybe a sandwich for lunch. So, really pleased with that. Next of all, I'm going to make my gluten-free bread. And if you go to the description box, box below and click on that, you will get the recipe for the regular bread and this gluten-free bread. So gluten-free bread is pretty much weird. That's all I can say about it. And you'll see that from the ingredients. In here, I have warm water, I have beaten eggs, I have cider vinegar and I have oil and I mix up all my wet ingredients. In here, I have gluten-free bread flour. And now, it's just called bread flour here and it's already got xanthan gum in it. Look out for gluten-free bread flour wherever you are. And then in here, I have my um, ground uh, flaxseed and I also have my salt and my sugar. So I'll put my liquid in first and then my dry powder then I'm going to cut open my sachet of yeast and I've got 20 grams of dried quick yeast here and pop it in and pop it in there. What I will say though is make sure that you pour it into your bread pan before you put your bread pan into the machine. And I'll do that and show you the mixing process. So there it all is. The liquid's on the bottom, the flour and all the dry ingredients go in on top. And finally, the quick dried yeast go in there. And I'm going to use a rapid cycle for this. So I'm just going to select it until it goes to number 12. And then I'm going to press start. Now, when you make gluten-free bread, it's nothing like regular bread. Do not worry if you follow this recipe and you just go, it's a gloopy batter like cake batter. Just leave it and it will turn into bread. Gluten-free bread is just like a batter. So I'm gonna press start, go away and forget about it. Maybe put my feet up for an hour and I'll come back and show you when it's finished. my gluten-free bread you can see it's risen right up to the top of the pan I'm very very pleased with it I'm gonna leave it for about five minutes because I can't get it out just yet let it cool for a bit with the lid off and I'll show it you afterwards it's always disappointing with um, the gluten-free bread it doesn't brown on top and the the bread machine lid reflects the heat back but it, it doesn't brown so what I might do with this is I'll just pop it into my mini oven and brown it off later. So there is the first slice of my gluten-free bread and the flaxseed gives it that fibre that you would have in wholemeal bread. Let's cut another slice and see how that goes. It's slicing well. I'm very good at slicing bread actually. Well there you are. I'm going to call that an absolute success. Now this has cost me about four euros to make this loaf of bread, but it's twice the size of the gluten-free bread I could buy here. And that has a proper bread texture. I'll tell you what, do this, doing this on camera is, uh, you cannot normally spread butter on gluten-free bread. And you can. So 
I think that that is a success. It'd be great for a set. Well, there's a rather a lot of butter, but hey, come on, it's a bit of a celebration. There we go. Gluten free bread, lovely texture to it, and the recipe is below. Here it is, my homemade gluten-free bread, toasted with my homemade black currant jam. Here we go. It's a very pleasurable thing to be able to have a decent size piece of bread and toast it. What a just such a simple pleasure. There you go. Gluten-free bread, homemade with homemade black currant jam, toasted. I've got a cup of tea. And that's my breakfast. Thanks so much for watching and we absolutely love your comments and we read every one of them so make sure you leave a comment and tell me what do you make that significantly saves you money? Also, are you a bread maker? Do you have a bread machine? Which one do you use? Share that with us. Thanks to everyone who hits that like button. And it is, it's the only thing we ask you to do is hit that like button. The more likes we get, the better. It helps the algorithm. Thank you to all the subscribers. It's so kind of you to join the frugal family. See you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>